Oh, maybe uh, let me do this as an uh, illustration of scaling argument. So you can certainly do this question similar to the previous question by writing out the, the equation involving the kinetic energy. So say kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared and maybe um, maybe put in the expressions uh, that relate to the masses and how one of them has three times the kinetic energy and set up the equation and then solve for this ratio of the velocities. You can definitely do that and um, and that's a good uh, that systematic uh, approach is a good skill to have. And uh, I want to demonstrate a, a mental math technique, um, which is maybe best described as a scaling argument. And it, uh, you should use it carefully because, it, because it's a kind of a shortcut. It's uh, easy to make a mistake <laughs> while you're using this shortcut, but sometimes it's a useful shortcut. So, so when you are using scaling argument, you are mainly looking at how the expression depends on various quantities. So you see that it depends linearly on the mass equals as mass to the power of one. And you see the kinetic energy depends uh, quadratic to the velocity. And um, so, so when you have, um, so you can, so, so you can, um, you can look at this uh, scaling factors to do this calculation quickly without um, without going through the full algebra. Now, let me take one bit of a precaution here because um, here what they are looking for is how the velocity is changing, um, how the velocity compares after having given you how the kinetic energy compares. So they, they have given you information about this side of the expressions and although you can work through this i have myself have made a mistake trying to do this as a mental math so let me do the minimum of solving this for velocity so if i solve this for velocity then i have um so 2 ke over m square rooted okay so i see that velocity it goes as a square root of this ratio of things so it goes um as a square root of kinetic energy and goes as one over square root of mass. So I'm looking at here velocity of the mass that has five kilogram compared to the one that has 10 kilogram. Um, it has a third as much kinetic energy because this 10 kilogram body is three times as much. So this says one third of the KE uh, and it has um, half the mass. So having half the mass will, so uh, this is the scaling factors I'm considering. Okay, so I have one half here and I have one third here. So combining them, I get two over three square rooted. So if I'm asked how does the velocity of the five kilogram mass differ as a, uh, as a ratio or a fraction of the velocity of the 10 kilogram mass, I can say that it's whatever the 10 kilogram mass's velocity is times this quantity. So let me give that a try. <laughs> and because I, again, because this is shortcut, there's a chance that I made a mistake. We'll see. <laughs> okay, two thirds square root it, 0 0.816. It looks about right, but let's see. Um, yeah. Um, so mental math is one of those things that it's good to get practice because there are times where uh, being uh, proficient in mental math techniques can help you get answers quickly. And it's mostly helpful in a trial and error kind of approach where you can try uh, some some methods of problem solving quickly. And, uh, and that, that's really the place where mental math is most useful. Because you know, in terms of turning things in, I always ask you to 
like uh, with the problem set assessment, I ask you for work. And if you were to turn in something like uh, this as your work, I wouldn't <laughs> accept that actually because it's a kind of a scratch uh, work. <laughs> you need to organize it so that it's understandable to someone who's a scratch work. It is. Uh, but uh, the idea of developing mental, mental method techniques, uh, that itself it has a value. It's uh, uh, it, it's uh, it's kind of the other side of um, uh, so you know. Oftentimes we ask you to show your work, but don't let um, showing your work be a way uh, be excuse not to learn a quicker way to do things.